Man, we just um, crossed Florida State Line going north, so we in Georgia now. We in Georgia State Line. We're going to go to Savannah. Pick up, we're going to pick up um, TCC mascot. Rocco done end up missing somewhere. Somebody picked him up. Over here, we turn. So if somebody see Rocco, y'all just bring him back. He lose somewhere. But um, yeah, we're going to get um, our new mascot. So I had to drive to Savannah and meet the guy, Terry, from uh, North Carolina. It's going to be one of my first person canaries. I'm going to get into breeding dogs and doing something that I like. You know, I really like dogs I always have. You know. But, um, hey, man, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. All my YouTubers. Man, it's a beautiful day. Um, the growth season is right around the corner. Um, we picked up a few more contracts. I need, um, need to shave and then I need a haircut. One time in Florida, but not Georgia. Hopefully I meet up with one of my partners, man, um, named Mike up here in Savannah. I hit him a few times. Waiting for him to call me back, but not. I shoot for him and head back. But, um, hey, the growth season is right around the corner, man. So all y'all landscapers, y'all better get prepared because grass will start to grow around March in Florida. And um, that's when things really start to pick up. And, um, and it's going again. We got to run it hard this year. So um, it's going to be a year for growth and you know, prosperity. You know, a lot of plans ahead. You got to stay focused. Um, Running the landscape company. So it's a tough business, but you have to keep your foot on the gas on um, your landscape. Um, there's different ways that we landscapers can go out and um, increase revenue. You can go out and find jobs um, or you can go contractual. Look for contracts that can uh, give you residual income. So that's that's something that you can do as a landscaper. Um, it's all type of ways that you can get into this business. Especially if you come coming home from prison and um, you're making a transition. You know, landscaping is something you can get into. Tree trimming is something you can get into electrical, um, carpentry, real estate. There's a lot of different things you can get into if you transition out of prison and you're looking for something to do and you got somebody that's willing to back you to start the business. But you have to be for real and be consistent and know you can't play with nobody, money, feelings, or whatever. You got to be dead serious. You're going to make it happen. You got to make it happen. I mean, you got to put everything forward. It's, it's something definitely you can get involved in. I mean, you can get involved in a whole bunch of stuff. Tech company, it'll make a difference. As long as you get involved in something, just stay consistent at it for a long time and making sure you don't go back to prison because it ain't nothing enough but a bunch of losers. That's all what I say. If you're in prison, you're a loser until you get out because you lost at whatever you was doing to end you up in there. Now, a lot of, some people that are, are innocent, but I'm saying the majority that did actually did something that's in there, got caught, you lost. Okay, it's time to wipe it off the table. They ain't doing that no more. You know, you know we ain't doing that start something new and I give advice to anybody getting out because I like to see guys get out and stay out I really like that shit I hate to see a dude going back to that same shit and that, that shit kind of irks me I mean you don't have to especially if you get a boost or something when you come home you get a boost or something when you come home you're a hustler man look at just go the start you something slow and, and, and slow grind hustle that business or work at that job whatever you got to do and grind it slow man you ain't got to have all that stuff that you see on Instagram and things that people throwing up in your face, man. You know? You, you don't need that. The only thing you need is food, water, shelter, bro. Some money in your pocket. That's it. You know, you can grind up and get everything else you want. Alright, let me drive a little bit more.